So of course I go through the effort of putting down all the straw. And then we get 40 mile per hour winds. So now straw is scattered across the four winds. Those beds are okay though. They didn't get too badly damaged. But the ones I put there, all gone. Gonna be raking for a while. While we're here, let's prep some space for some peas, shall we? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. This area has quite a bit of mulch that I had put in last summer. See some bug activity. We got some nice mycelium feeding them up, feeding up the wood chips. It's good stuff. Alright, let me go get those seeds. So we've got these from last year, leftovers. The Bupina early and the snowbird pea. It's pretty much plant, four inches apart, one inch deep. Yeah, I guess I don't need that. I wear gloves because I really don't like things under my nails. And it's not because I care much about that. I've been to the nail salon a handful of times in my life. I just, I hate it. I hate the feeling of bread in there. Like, I can't eat chicken wings. I don't like to eat it with my hands. I eat it with a fork and knife. I will suffer eating crabs because I really love crabs. That I will suffer having my nails. Having gunk under them and smelling like crab for, for days at a time. Reminded that critters are here, and I will need to cover this up. So I'm, for now, going to only be planting as long as this cover can cover. So. fence, the deer fence, to climb up on. I am out of shape. This is a reminder that I have to get my act together. Talk to y'all soon. So for insurance purposes, I planted a few more peas just in case the squirrels do get to some. Hopefully there'll be some left for me.
the question is, how am I going to have this secured from the next windstorm?